Hey guys, welcome back to another installment of X Designer Breeds. My name is Zion and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't yet sub subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification icon so that you are notified every time I upload and also go ahead and share this video. Like and share this video. Um, so yesterday you guys met my female toy poodles and in today's video, you guys are going to meet my male toy poodles. Okay, so cue the intro. Okay, so welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. We're outside again, okay? Um, I haven't learned my lesson apparently, um, but today's cooler because in yesterday's video, I was drenched in sweat and as you can see, I am I'm dry, I'm dry, right? Um, so today is a little bit cooler even though it is very much humid outside, right? So let's just speed through this video, get it over with so that you guys can meet my male toy poodles, okay? All right, so like yesterday's video, we are going to talk about their stats, their temperament or their personality, and also give my plans for each of my, my males, okay? All right, so the first one that I want to showcase to you guys is, he's right here. I don't know if you guys can see him because he's bending in with my shirt, but here, here he is. And this right here, guys, is Tiket. Um, short form for his name is call name is Tiki and it's a funny story <laughs> as to how he came by this name because obviously ticket is a French word which means ticket right um, so when I was going to get ticket when I was going to pick him up on my way there it was fine but coming back when I was coming back home I apparently was speeding and I was pulled over, of course, and I got a ticket. So I'm like, you know what? I can't think of a name for this guy. Let's go ahead and name him Ticket because I guess this, it will just be a memorable experience for both of us, right? At least for me. Um, so his full name is Ticket Richland and Richland is actually the county in which I got the ticket, right? Okay, so let's go over a ticket's stats. Tiki was born on April 16, 2022, which makes him five months old. He is actually four pounds right now, and he measures up to seven inches in height. He is a black tuxedo boy, and he is AKC registered. Um, and of course, he's also CKC registered. Like I told you in my last video, I dual register my AKC, uh, AKC puppies, right, or my AKC dogs. All right, so let's talk more about Ticket. As you can see, he has that nice little tuxedo chest right there. And why is he shaved, you may ask? It's summer, guys. It's summertime here. And even though he's a puppy, um, I went ahead and I, I, I just gave him like a shave because it's, it's more manageable for me. And also, whenever I'm bathing him, it, it's less dry time uh, to, you know, to like dry him off, you know, no drying and stuff like that. So it's just more, more convenient for me having so many dogs as you can see you met four females in yesterday's video and today you're gonna meet three of my guys right right tiki now tiki's genetics are pristine let's talk about it his coat is very very it's wavy of course but it's very very silky like it's very very smooth and silky unlike xantha you met the xantha, xantha yesterday xantha has a cotton-ish type coat but his is very, very silky, which I adore. And that you can literally tell that he comes from a very, very good background. Now, Tiki is going to remain small. He probably will not grow more than 4.5, if maximum 5 pounds. Um, I don't think he's going to grow any taller. He is a short guy. Both his parents are very, very short. I'm going to place a picture here of his parents so that you guys can see what his parents look like. But his parents are very, very small, and so he is going to be small as well. Now, Ticket is a sp spitting image of his father. 
they look just alike. When I reserved him, I was I reserved actually a fully solid black male, and I was so happy to you know get that male basically. And then like a couple of days after, the breeder called me and she was saying that unfortunately she made a huge mistake on her part, and that solid black male was already reserved for someone else, but she had tiki available and she showed me pictures of tiki obviously i'm not really into the whole tuxedo or multicolored toy poodles but i went ahead and i got him and i'm so happy that i got he him is precious i was just waiting for that air aircraft to, to leave he is so precious and look at him guys let me show you guys him up close and personal again he's a little face look at his body he is very very small and he's going to remain the small all right so I'm gonna have to run inside and grab the other boy that I have because he's also a puppy. Um, so just give me one moment. Let me just go ahead and grab him, okay? One moment. Okay, guys. So um, I have the little boy in my hand. His name is Caraxes. But before I talk about Caraxes, let's talk about Theo, Theodore Purdy, who is actually in one of our guardian home programs right now. She, he is with another family in uh, Ennis, Texas, and he's living his best life. I'm going to pop a photo here of, uh, of Theo, but before I talk much more about him, let's just get into his stats. Now, Theo was born on July 15th, 2021, which makes him a year old. He is nine inches tall and he is just seven pounds. He is a red toy poodle and he is CKC registered pending. Well, his CKC registration is pending. I sent in the necessary or the required documents to get him registered. Uh, and so we, we are just trying to, to wait on to on to see if that's going to be approved right now. So I do have a lot of plans for for Theo because he has the best temperament. He is great. He is he has that horse shaped nose or face that I was talking to you about in yesterday's video, and you know that I am very much attracted to that type of uh, that type of feature on toy poodles and he is he's awesome okay so unfortunately apart from theo not being registered theo also has unilateral crypto cryptorchidism which is a, a genetic defect where one or one or it could be one or both testes fails to descend into the scrotum from the abdomen so he has one testes uh currently testicle currently and the other one is yet to descend which I've read articles where it may take up to a year and a half, up to a year and a half for it to descend. To descend. However, uh, with these type of defects, uh, it's best for us to just go ahead and neuter uh, because they are more prone to getting cancer in the future. However, I am still going to breed Theo. And I will give you my reasons in another video as to why I plan on breeding him. Uh, so he is in, a, in our garden home program, as I've mentioned before, and he is he is super. Now let's get to Caraxes. Now Caraxes is it may not be the the final name that I end up you know naming this guy. This is him right here, and he's also fully shaved, right? So Caraxes, let's talk up. Uh, let's talk some stats up about Caraxes, right? So Caraxes was born on may 11th 2022 which makes him four months old i haven't weighed him neither have i measured his height he will probably grow up to maybe five to six pounds and seven inches in height he is a red toy poodle and he is akc registered and he is dual registered also with ckc now let's talk caraxes why did i name him caraxes guys so my favorite TV show is on right now, which is called The House of the Targaryen, House of Dragons. And the biggest dragon right now is driven by Daemon, and the name of the dragon is Caraxes, and the dragon is red. So obviously, it makes sense, right? Because he's a red toy poodle. I will show you a, a picture of what the dragon looks like here, but he is a red toy poodle, and so I decided to name him Caraxes. Kari for short. Okay, so let's talk about my plans for Kari. Now, Kari was initially supposed to be replacing Theo because of Theo's condition. 
but I'm not really sure if I'm I'll, I'm I'm gonna keep him because he doesn't really have the the features that I'm looking for in a toy poodle. He does have that teddy bear face shape, uh, face shape, and he also uh, he also fades a lot. Um, as you can see, he is red, but obviously red they do carry the fading gene, which is not a problem for me. Which is not a problem, you, you know, right? Because reds, all reds carry this fading gene. However, he is getting too light for me, too light for, for me to even consider using him in my program. However, I may keep him. I may keep him because he may be very, very special for me uh, moving forward in my program. But I'm still thinking about it, right? So program, my program is always changing. I'm always thinking of new strategies, new ways, new ideas and stuff like that. So don't hold me to this, but I, I'm still going to be deciding what I'm doing with Caraxes. As of right now, he is with me. I may even put him in a garden home in the future, but who knows, right? Speaking of garden homes, <laughs> he's trying to balance on my, on my legs. All right, speaking of garden homes, if you guys want to know more about what a garden home program is or is interested in being a garden home for me, if you live in the Dallas Fort Worth area, you guys can check out my description box below where I will have all the necessary information where you can find find out about. If you guys haven't yet been following me on Instagram or Facebook, you are missing out because I post litters there every single time and I currently have litters for that, you know, that I'm trying to rehome puppies right now. So I will link my website in the description box below. So go ahead and check that out. Also, follow me on Instagram and Facebook at X Designer Breeds. Right? So, these are my three male toy poodles. I hope you like them. I am not sure if I will be adding any other male toy poodles in my program. I will for sure be adding a silver in the future. But as of right now, these are the only ones that I currently have. And I don't think I'll be adding any more. Okay, so for the future, I may add a silver silver boy, but I don't think I'll be adding any more males. I think I'll just be outsourcing my, my studs because they are very, very challenging to have around, especially around your, your female who is in heat. So I don't know if I, I don't think I'll be adding any more, uh, any more studs in my program apart from a silver. Okay, so thank you guys for staying tuned, staying to this, you know, portion of the video uh just go ahead and subscribe like i said look out for my next video and if you haven't yet checked out my previous video showcasing my females go ahead and check that out right now okay and see you guys